Hi, and today I'm going to be going over some sharpshooter techniques with one of my new black belts, TC. And um, a lot of people ask, hey, what do you do if they grab it and pull on your finger? Now remember, the finger ring is designed so that if he pulls it, pull it real hard, it's not putting pressure on the finger ring itself. If you look real close, there's no pressure on the finger ring. Unless I let go of the grip, then it's pulling the finger. As long as you grip it, it's not. And the reason why is because the finger ring's independent of the shaft. So as long as I'm grabbing the shaft, the pressure goes right through the ring and just to the grip of my hand. It was designed that way in case someone did grab it. And we do have many techniques if they do grab it. Okay. Now, if you have any strength at all for the pincering technique, I'm going to give you ones that take no strength. This one takes a little bit of strength. Now, we, we, this is a pincering technique. Now where you're going is right in the, the nap of the back of the neck here. You're going to see right here is, is where the brain stem goes into this big hole in the back of the skull. They call it foramen. Now underneath here, okay, you'll see the muscle coming down here. We're just pincering this and squeezing in and down. Okay, now this is a good pressure point to use to force someone downward. So when, say, say um, I was using this to protect myself and he grabbed that with two hands. I quickly grab up and press here down. If he's still holding, notice I just come around and pull it out. Okay, but usually that's enough to let him make him let go. Now let's do the for instance that he doesn't let go when I do it. So he grabs on with two hands, I press down, he's still holding up. Look look at where I brought it. I brought it up and around here. Okay? And now I'm just going here. Hold on, watch. I just pull this way. See what's making him fall back? Right from there it can start striking him. Okay? 